Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the German BF 110 G4 sitting at 3.7 battle rating. This is basically a copy paste of the Italian G4 which was added, um, I think it was last update. And uh, fantastic planes, I've tested them out a little bit and this plane definitely is the exact copy. Um, still great planes, the BF 109s. 109s, did I say 109s? <laughs> 109s are great too. Of course I meant the, the, the 110s. I like them because they are sturdy, they have immense firepower and they are super reliable. You know what you get with a 110. You're a brawler, you can boom and zoom, you have good firepower, you will win a head-on, you can take damage and she will take it and she will take you home and she will destroy enemies that come in front of her guns and she's versatile you have quite a big setup with bombs gun pods um, rockets and combos between those and it just gives you options of what you can do with this plane if you're on a night map you have your radar always nice right <laughs> and uh, and you can ground pound with it, you can take her into uh, ground RB, you can take her into air RB. She's a very reliable boom and zoomer, two, three kills a match, is easily attainable for a veteran pilot in a 110. And um, if you have these cl clutch matches where you get five, six kills as well. So she is absolutely amazing and um, I just love the combination between the 30 millimeters and the 20 millimeters. You can put extra guns on there if you want. It's just, I, I just love them. But anyway, this one, uh, maximum speed at sea level without web is 477 and with web 491. At 4500 meters, it still go up to 442 without web and 452 with. And finally, at 6500 meters, you can take her to 407 without web and 415 with. Now, this is great speed in a straight line for a heavy fighter. Top speed in a dive is not great with 708 before she redlines and 750 before she rips apart. Also very small window between the red line and when she rips apart. So if you're in a, in a far deep dive and you want to get out and you go beyond the red line, you have to get out immediately because you will be at 750 in no time as you have been accelerating for a good while already. And this plane, after winding up, is quite good in dive acceleration um, for a heavy fighter. So, once you get to the red line, you're accelerated that much that you will be at 750, the rip speed, before you know it. One or two seconds. And, uh, well, maybe three. <laughs> so, you gotta react. You gotta be sharp there in a dive. Control stiffening uh, starts off at 500 kilometers an hour. The roll rate already starts off bad, though. So that's no surprise uh, that you have a tick there at 500 kilometers an hour. There is actually high compression as well in the elevator above 550, 650. In that range she really starts to lock up heavily in the elevator as well. And you can actually crash this plane into the ground. So not only is the rip speed pretty close, 42 kilometers uh, behind the uh, red line, she also locks up in the elevator control. Which means you can crash into the ground easily and it's difficult to get her out of a uh, out of a dive when you get above 650 for sure. So yeah, uh, firepower though is great, but um, oh, I forgot the stall speed. Stall speed is around 125 kilometers an hour, which is quite decent. He's not great in the vertical though, of course, he's too heavy for that. But he also has average vertical energy retention. Climb rate is actually pretty good. Though. Firepower is fan freaking tested with two 30 mm Mark 108 cannons. One of them has 120 rounds, the other 135. And you have four 20 mm MG 151s. You have the Schrager pair in the back that's shooting up towards bombers if you want to use that. With those, have uh, 240 rounds per gun. The forward facing pair has a combination of 400 rounds per gun and 350 rounds per gun. So uh, a lot of uh, mixed ammo loads there. You also have a turret with, with a 7.92mm machine gun. 
is nice with 750 rounds and you can put up as i said a lot of ordnance on this plane for different uses uh, ground rb against players column attacks in air rb you can even base attack if you want but um yeah i'm, I'm always using it preferably in a fighter role because a heavy fighter role can be a lot of fun with with this plane but you can definitely ground pound to your heart's content in this plane. that's for sure as i said ammo loads are great the acceleration in a straight line is above average nothing fancy but still when you put nothing extra on her it is above average and in a dive once you wind up a little bit is good then the energy retention in the horizontal is a decent and in the vertical only average climb rate is decent to good especially as i said without ordnance without any extra stuff on there um it uh, it can be good but it, when you have stuff on there extra guns or rockets or whatever you go to decent climb rate the turn time is bad below average with flaps uh, the flaps rip off at 560 kilometers an hour so 560 that's quite nice uh, you will definitely not rip it, rip it off in a straight line and you just have to be careful at the lower end of dives with the flaps but the flaps are sturdy reliable and they do make a big impact on the uh, turn time roll rate is bad to start with it is uh, nothing great but um, yeah, this is a, it's a big plane and once you get a bit of the compression under your belt as well she really starts to stiffen up quite early so overall maneuverability is bad but um, there are heavy fighters that are worse off but you definitely this is not one of those heavy fighters that can turn and maneuver with um, with fighters with a little bit of creativity that is just not gonna happen in the bf 110 you are uh, a bit cumbersome, you're, you're a bit m less maneuverable, but as I said, you're a beast. You can take a shit ton of damage. She's an armored car in the air. Uh, really, she has a lot of armor plates on there, a lot of uh, protection for the pilot and the gunner. And y you will not get pilot sniped like that. He is really, uh, it's a tank in the sky, basically. And that is very nice. Uh, the overheating is bad with web. Yeah, she does overheat quite a bit but and it needs a bit of attention you can always manage it though eventually i mean in the end uh, overheating is always up to the pilot but some planes are absolutely terribly bad atrocious we call it then this one is just bad when you use web if you don't use web the plane stays quite decent in the overheating department uh, and with web it just needs attention uh, durability, as I said, she is a armored car slash light tank in the sky, uh, so it's good, good durability. It can take a shit ton of damage and not fall apart, and uh, it will take you home. It, it's, it's one of those planes that is very survivable and uh, it's an absolute joy to fly because of that. It, she needs that, right? I mean, she's a brawler, she's not made to maneuver, but, but she can shovel a fight. And, uh, it's a, it's a great plane when it comes to that. So as I said, for uh, the versatility is great. It's a close air support plane. You can attack uh, bases. You can do ground RB. You can boom and zoom in it. You can u be used as a support fighter. Uh, there's just so much you can do in a BF-110. And just G4 is no exception. It's an awesome plane. And um, she has radar as well. Now some people actually love it for that. Uh, I mean... Uh, it, th there's not much use in it in War Thunder. I haven't seen a night match in a century. Uh, but uh, in cloudy matches with a... Uh, I don't... Actually, the, the the old matches where you had just cloud cover from 2,000 meters to 6,000 or 8,000 meters over the whole map. I think those days are gone. I haven't seen it in, with, the new, um, with the new cloud system. So that is a, a boon. But for planes like this, um, uh, you know, if you want to use the Raider... Or have some use for the radar with no more. I, I haven't seen those night matches anymore, as I said. And those cloud matches are gone as well. So, oh well. Um, yeah, maybe not so useful, but still historically awesome. And uh, some of the early radar systems out there. It's, uh, it's great to see, of course. But, um, yeah, I, uh, as I said, man. I like the the BF 110s. They are, uh, maybe they are an acquired taste. More for the experienced pilots. But on the other hand, they are planes with great firepower and great survivability. So, I mean, a beginner 
might not be so happy with the maneuverability and, and the finer parts of how to make a plane like this work. But they have videos for that. <laughs> and, and I think the, the survivability and the firepower can save them in a lot of situations. Of course they still need to aim initially, but for a beginning pilot, a BF-110 could be a safe bet, you know. Um, you can even put extra guns on it if you want to focus on that firepower. You start with an air start, which gives you, uh, you know, some, some options. You start high, especially on smaller maps. This is an advantage for the BF-110. And she can actually climb without ordnance. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, great for both beginners and veterans, I would say, this plane. Definitely uh, a recommendation to go out with this plane and, uh, and have some fun. She's awesome. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, well, we, we got a lot of these kind of matches. Some ground targets. So, uh, three, four air, air kills. Uh, is no exception in this plane. Uh, 13, almost 40,000 uh, silver lines as well there. So. Hey, guys. So, here we are after the match. Awesome. Just awesome. The BF-110s. I mean, in reality, they were lacking in certain departments. But once they got the night fighters, in reality, they got the, their radars... They became uh, quite useful and they found uh, themselves a second life, these BF-110s. Uh, yeah, as they failed in daytime missions against Spitfires and Hurricanes in the Battle of Britain. As night fighters in the sky against bombers, they were, uh, they were awesome. And, um, well, it's nice to have these versions in-game with the radar. But uh, the BF-110s here in-game have a much broader role to play in the game, in usefulness, uh, they can hold their own against fighters in the right position. Of course, you don't want to start turning with any of the uh, single-seat monoplanes, single-engine fighters, but um, that's something that should seem uh, logical, right? You can make this plane work, she can rumble, she's a brawler, she can uh, put up a fight, and uh, that is great, very survivable and um, very sturdy. And she will take you home. That's a great thing. And you have the awesome firepower. Even clean like this without any add-ons. Without any modifications added. She is great. But put on some extra 20 millimeters or put on rockets. And you can fulfill an extra roll with a really hard punch to the guns. Or you can go ground pounding. Whatever you want to do in this plane. She can probably do it fairly well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.